Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on cumulative frequency and box plots question number two with me Mr Barton. Now what have we got here? The cumulative frequency diagram shows the times taken by members of two different clubs, the leopards, here they are, the solid line, and the tigers, the dash line, to complete a fitness course. Each club has 80 members. I don't know if that's going to be important, but I'm obsessed with circling numbers whenever I see them. Um, now where are the questions? Here they are. Find the median and interquartile range for the tigers. Now they've helpfully put that in bold, don't find the wrong flipping one here. So let's median and interquartile range for the tigers. Tigers are the dashed one. My total cumulative frequency goes up to 80. So for my median, I'm going to want to be going across at 40. So let's get myself a nice line with my ruler here. Across there at 40. Let's see where it hits and go down. Now they are not going to give you any margin for error here because they've marked it on themselves. So I'm going to put my M for median and I reckon that's 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I'll put some units in just to make the examiner happy there. Interquartile range, I'm going to need a quarter. A quarter of 80, I think, is 20. Some people like to think of that as half the median. That's absolutely ideal. See where it hits and go down. Now, as I say, you've got to be really, really accurate here. So I'm just going to have a very close look at that. And I think that's, well, really, that's, let's have a look. Oh, you've got to look at your scale as well. My scale there, there are 10 marks between my uh, to my point where it's 15 and another 10 marks to 20 so each one's going to be 0.5 so that's 15 i reckon that's about 15.5 but please have a check and don't take my word for that one there um what about my upper quartile so i'm going to go across at 60 here let's see where it hits hits at 60 let's see where we go down here so this looks a little bit easier to read that seems to be two marks away from this next line, which is 25 there. So I think that's going to be 24. But again, have a careful look when you do this. So I've got an upper quartile of 24. I've got a lower quartile of 15.5. So my interquartile range is going to be that upper quartile. Take away that lower quartile and 24 take away 15.5 now let's see if my math is right there i think that's going to be about 8.5 minutes hopefully now this is where we get into twist central here and this is where marks can come tumbling so let's make sure we don't lose any state which club the leopards or the tigers was slower on average at completing the fitness course give a reason for your answer now if you just write down one of the two you're going to get zero here slower on average Average is all about the medians. So we've worked out the median for the tigers. We got that as 20. Let's get the median for the leopards. So we've got our median line going across there. Let's see where our median line hits the leopards. And let's take a trip down there. So I reckon that that is about, oh, again, it's flipping hard to read this, about halfway. I th I'm going for about 17, 16.5 maybe, I think. So I'm going to write down here, median for the tigers and we got that as 20 mins then I'm going to put median for the who are these the leopards leopards equals and I think it's about 16.5 mins but my photocopying is not the best here so who's the uh, who's the slower on average well, this is all about completing the course. The Tigers took 20 minutes on average. The Leopards took 16.5 minutes. And I'm going to put, uh, therefore, Tigers slower as median was higher. And just remember that if it ever mentions anything about average, it's all about the median. If it mentions anything about spread, as it will in some later questions, it's all about the interquartile range. And then finally, part C. Times taken by another group of students are shown in the table below. Calculate an estimate for the mean. There's those magic words again. So it's fusing together a different topic, but hopefully we know how to do this. Group frequency, estimate for the mean. We've seen this in the walking talking topic before. We're going to need a midpoint. And we're going to need a midpoint times frequency. So let's get our midpoint. And then let's get our midpoint times by the frequency. Our midpoints, let's see if we can do this quick. Between 0 and 10 is 5. 10 and 20 is 15. 20 and 30 is 25. 30 and 40 is 35. Our midpoint times frequency. 
let's get the calculator out here. 5 times 2, I can't believe I've just tapped into the calculator, that's 10. 30 times 15, that's 450. 45 times 25, that's going to be 1,125. And 35 times 3, that's going to be 105. Now, I've just got to remember which columns I need to total up. So I'm going to go for this one here, my total midpoint times frequency. That's going to give me my best estimate of the minutes taken. So I'll have a 10 plus a 450 plus a 1125 plus a 105. And that equals 1,690. And then what do I need to divide that by? Well, I need my total number of students. So here... I've got 2 plus a 30 plus a 45 plus a 3, and that's coming to 80, and that's good, and that's always nice when you get a nice number there. And I've just got to do it the right way around. So my median, and I'll just pause here and think, what do I expect it to be? Well, I need it to be somewhere between 0 and 40, somewhere roughly in the middle. So let's get 1,690, my total minutes, divided by 80, my total number of students, 1690 divided by 80, press equals. I'm going to need to press my little SD button there, and I'm getting 21.125 mins, which seems a fairly sensible answer, so I'll take that.